Hello AP, today we're going to talk about the integrated rate law. This is section 12.4 in your textbook. So the integrated rate law expresses how the concentrations of a reactant depends on time. So um, that is something that's important to note um, with the integrated rate law is that it's looking at the concentration depending on time, not how it's changing over time. So instead of using the initial concentrations in multiple experiments, uh, like we did in the differential rate law, we're only using one experiment and the concentration changes over the time that is measured. So just a little bit of note about the difference between the integrated rate law and the differential rate law. The When we go to choose which rate law we're using to solve a problem, the rate law we choose um, deter to determine by experiment often depends on what type of data, data is easiest to collect. So we're going to use the differential rate law. That's what we talked about in 12.2 and 12.3 when we have multiple trials and the rate changes as the concentrations are changed. So remember we looked at that there was trial one, trial two, trial three, and we saw different rates um, throughout that. So this is section 12.2 and 12.3. That was the last video that we had. The integrated rate law, which is the new uh, rate law we're discussing today, you're only gonna have one experiment and you are only going to have one single trial. Okay, so first order integrated rate law. This is the most important out of the integrated rate laws. Um, the There is a zeroth order and there is a second order integrated rate law, but those um, are not tested on the AP exams. Uh, sometimes you do have to um, look at graphs and identify them, but usually I see those in multiple choice questions, but I will show you those in this. So uh, I believe that this is the equation that is given on the um, equation sheet. The natural log of the concentration of A is equal to negative KT plus the natural log of uh, the concentration of A sub zero, um, and that's like the initial concentration. So um, we can uh, manipulate this equation and make it so that we have both the natural logs on the, set, the same side, and we can manipulate it further um, to here. Um, this is the form that I like to use the most because um, I've already moved things around and typically that's what I need to work um, the problem. So um, let's label stuff here. A sub zero, this is the initial concentration. And uh, the concentration at T, this is the concentration at a particular time. Uh, K, this is the rate constant. And T is the time. Okay. Um, so, uh, you will be able to have notes with you for the 2020 AP exam. Uh, in the past, I have uh, given a way to kind of remember this. Um, equation that has already been manipulated for that for you, and that is Naughty Katie. Uh, so uh, A sub zero, um, this is the concentration um, initially, that's like A naught. Um, and then, so the naught is A sub zero, and then the T, 
So it helps you remember that the A sub zero is on top, uh, T is on the bottom, and then KT for what it is equal to. So that's just a way that I've uh, tried to help remember that equation. So here, um, a plot of the natural log of the concentration versus T always gives a straight line for the first order reaction, and this gives us a negative slope. So this is what you will work with primarily. And now I told you that there is zeroth order and second order uh, for the integrated rate law, and that sometimes uh, you have to identify those graphs um, as well. And so these are what those graphs uh, look like. Um, but um, in my opinion, I doubt that those are going to be uh, questions on this year's AP exam. So let's look at an example with the first order integrated rate law. So this question says at 400 degrees Celsius, the first order, so it tells us that this is a first order problem, um, of the conversion of cyclopropane into propylene has a rate constant of 1.16 times 10 to the negative 6 s to the negative 1st. So rate constant, remember that's k, so I'm going to write down k is equal to 1.16 times 10 to the negative 6, and 1 over 2nd is the same as 2nd uh, to the negative 1st. The initial concentration so we're told what concentration this is of cyclopropane is 1.00 times 10 to the negative second moles over liters. We also know that as molarity. So the concentration of A initially is 1.00 times 10 to the negative second moles over liters. What will the concentration, so that's what it's asking us to find, is what is the concentration going to be 24 hours after the reaction begins? So we are trying to find the concentration at 24 hours of time. That's what we need. Now, we are also given 400 degrees Celsius in here along with our 24 hours. So let's take a look here at that um, equation, again, rearranged into my preferred way to work with it. So we can figure out where all this is going to go. Okay, so we know our initial concentration, so we know this, we are trying to find this, we know our K, and we know our time. Now one thing that I can see here is that our rate constant is in terms of 1 over S, where our time is in hours. So we need to convert our time into seconds. So one hour, we have 60 seconds, or 60 minutes, apologize, and then in one minute, we have 60 seconds, um, and this is equal to 86,400 seconds, um, going to three sig figs, like our 24.0 hours that we're starting with. So now I can plug this information into this equation. So the natural log of A sub zero is 1.00 times 10 to the negative second moles over liters divided by, um, or this is the concentration of a at a particular time, we don't know that, is equal to, oh, I don't have enough room over here. Let me rewrite this. 
<laughs> yeah. Try to write smaller so I can work this out. I forget that all these numbers take up a lot of space. Okay, so I just rewrote this. Um, K is 1.16 times 10 to the negative 6, 1 over seconds. And the time is 86,400 seconds. Okay. So now, um, in order to get rid of this natural log and be able to solve for um, the concentration at our particular time, uh, you need to use the E. Um, I forget what that is called off the top of my head. Um, but that is going to get rid of your natural log. And so then you have 1.00 times 10 to the negative second moles over liters over your concentration at a particular time is equal to, and um, I went ahead and I multiplied uh, this together, so... E times. Um, I find it a little bit easier to wait and do um, E to that power at the very end um, in terms of sig figs, um, but as long as you're keeping your sig figs correct, you should be okay as you work through this. Um, so then what I like to do at this step is I like to do a cross multiplication And so that gives us 1.00 times 10 to the negative second moles over liters is equal to the concentration of A at a particular time times E to 0 0.100. And then to solve for your concentration, you need to uh, divide by e to the point one zero zero on both sides. Cancels out over here, here, and then you will have your. It equals 9.05 times 10 to the negative third um, moles over liters. That is your concentration at 24 hours. So that is our integrated rate law. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks. Have a great day.